I was hoping to see the ritual. Well, probably not. Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Uh, no, I think it's actually your messiness and your alcoholism that's kind of driving people away. Okay. Like, I think the alcohol is actually the main problem. Alright. The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seraphs. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? Alright, we cannot recruit him yet, but we are going to give him back his lost item. Which is the artificial flower. You're all most fine. Thank you for bringing this to me. And we're going to give him the tea set to complete the mission. Kind of you. I will have to repay you sometime. All right. So from now on, we can actually take people to tea parties. Um, the way a tea party works is basically you sit down with a character, you have a cup of tea. You can even do this in the middle of like. The monastery being under attack or you know just before the giant battle that's mm -hmm. probably gonna kill you all like it doesn't really matter how urgent the situation is you can you can go and have tea you can be looking for a student who's been kidnapped doesn't matter we'll have tea um and uh you get a, you get to choose between three conversation topics you have to pick the one that they are actually interested in if you manage to pick the correct topic three times you will get a um fourth question and if you get that right you get a perfect tea time which will um, increase um, the charm stat of the character by one you can get two charm and stat uh, charm increases per character per month and it will also increase support um, personally i don't use the tea time very often um, usually it's something that i reserve for the second half of the game when i already have all the skills and supports that I want, and I'm just farming for charm points. It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995-year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Now that said, um... You can also um, get a free tea party whenever a character has their birthday. So I strongly recommend making use of the uh, free tea parties for the birthdays. Um, because the only thing you're going to need is a bunch of um, a bunch of tea leaves. And then you can just go for a free support and charm increase. Alright, let's go. Gardening. Ten. Four. Let's go. And again, in case anybody is wondering why I'm planting food seeds instead of flower seeds, I am planning to do a lot of recruiting, so I need to share a lot of meals. And I'm not actually sure if there's anything over here that I need. Oh, Zero is here. Okay, let's talk to Zero. Excuse me, Professor. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? I hope you're not just saying that. I love that you can pick, we'll see. As like zero confidence by love. Items over here. I think Leonie's room is the only one where we might actually have something. No. 
And then we have the Dew and Lenhard, whose rooms we have to check in on. Bylef is out here spreading bad health myths. Alright, uh, any books in Linhardt's room? Well, not the ones I need, okay. So in that case, I don't think there should be anything in the Dew's room as well, because... Yeah. If I remember correctly, there's like two months where the two of them have books in their room, and it's the same month for both of them, so... What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. <laughs> Oh, Gerald. So, something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares. Wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Bought the ingredients for making some sweet treats. I can't wait to eat. Huh? Oh, I, I know it looks like I'm fooling around, but I'm not. I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have plenty of food I can eat while walking. Smart, huh? <laughs> I know. Once they're ready, I promise to share some with you. Please do. I mean, I'll take them. Uh, who is? Oh, Linhard. Okay. So sleepy. So sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in this sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. L Linhard, please don't talk about being sleepy. After I've just had a work week with two 16 hour days. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Got some chicken. Okay. Now we need to go and talk to Dimitri. And yes, depending on the food, you could use it as a weapon. And in many creative ways. Let's see. Thanks for your help. So, there is something that the church values above all else. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make gaining entry far easier than usual. You know the place of which I speak. I am so tempted to choose either the greenhouse or the dining hall, but of course it's the holy mausoleum. Yes, that is the most likely possibility. Do not know their objective, but there is a good chance that our enemy is planning to target the Holy Mausoleum. Yeah, we had two releases in one week, so that was that was something. <laughs> it's like work sixteen hours on Tuesday and then do it again on Friday. <laughs> Fun times. Well done. You have my thanks. Yeah, Conan Tower. So that's where we're going next chapter. Um, for this chapter, we're actually done here. Um, we think I think we have four people motivated for the instruction. Yes. Okay, so in that case, we still need to do the tournament. And then for the tournaments, I always recommend first of all save just in case you do lose 
Secondly, if it's a tournament for a physical skill, for swords, bows, axes, whatever, the stats of your character are far more important than the actual skill rank they have in that specific discipline. So you might think, oh, Felix is more proficient in swords than Dimitri, but Dimitri has the better stats. So for all the physical stuff, just pick your house lord. Pick your house leader. Um, they're going to be just fine. Um, the only time you have to worry about picking somebody else is if you have a magic tournament, in which case do pick the best magic user you have. That means the one with the highest magic stat and also the highest speed stat. Because those are really the only two stats that are ever relevant, magic and speed, or strength and speed if you want to go for physical fighting. So we're going to enter Dimitri into the sword tournament, let him demolish everybody and then we'll be happy. I'm going to skip those animations for all the upper turns because it's always the same. And the lines that they say in the end are the same as their normal end of battle lines. So We're just gonna skip right through this. You never had a chance. <laughs> Dimitri takes like zero damage. Who's next? Oh no, somebody actually managed to hit us. Whatever shall we do? I must stay focused. And tournaments are good because tournaments give you the most professor XP out of any um, activity in the monastery. I'm glad I asked you. You're welcome, Casper. And they also give you um, money. So tournaments are great. Okay, and now we need to work... Which skills do we need to work on? So we definitely need some more lance rank if we want to get into Pegasus Knight at level 10. And like I said, we're probably not going to get the full lance rank um, just for fighting. But we also need to level up heavy armor, riding and brawling for recruitment. And we need to level up riding to D and heavy armor and brawling to D plus. So I think we're just going to pick one of each. Um, for riding, we can train with Gerald. So let's do that. He's right here, which is going to be really easy. Save. I want a great result, please. What's the map? Even the god face. Not. I said I want a great result. Try again, Gerald. Um, yeah, and I want to level these up as soon as possible so that I can just recruit people as early as possible, get them set up with the right skills. Even if I will never use them in battle, I am aiming to put everybody into a masterclass. So I will need those people to actually, you know, work towards their skills. And it will also make uh, gaining support with them easier if I have them in my class. So let's go. What's the map? Even the gut face not. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, we need to train. We already did heavy armor. And I think we can only train heavy armor with Alois right now, so it's not like we can pick anybody else. We're going to take brawling with Rhea. But actually, we can take brawling with. We could take brawling with Catherine as well, but Rhea is the one that we need to support from earlier, so. Also, I like getting my brawling training from the Pope, so let's go. Thank you, Rhea. Awesome. Safe. Oops, actually, safe here. And let's move on. And instruct manually. So we have Dimitri. Um, he has his riding, he has his lance. He's gonna be leveling that easy enough. This will 
let's really work on getting his authority up as quickly as possible. Um, he's going to be okay for bows. So let's work on his axe rank. Annette. Annette, Annette, Annette. Um, hmm. She already has her C to get into Mage. And she's going to level authority easy enough. So we're actually going to stick... No. I want to get her into Pegasus Knight at some point as well for the attack speed. So we're going to give her some flying. making progress yes you are congratulations um she's gonna learn flying easily enough she needs more lands all right so let's see um group tasks can remain as they are goals yes that's fine that's fine I think he's also gonna need a C in lances if I'm no he's not gonna need a C in lances actually. Potentially, possibly. Okay, so he can stay as he is. Um this is fine, this is fine. Sylvain so has his C in axes, so he can switch to Lance and riding. And I still have to unlock his hidden talent, so we're gonna have to work on that. Um, she needs to study a little bit more reason, and she needs some flying. She's gonna take faith and flying. This is fine. Oh, for actually, she now has her required lance rank for Pegasus, so we can actually switch to sword and axe. This is fine, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, these should all be good. Let's begin. Could you perhaps enlighten me on something? Oh god, um... I hope you will indulge me with a candid reply. Professor, so I can have a good laugh. As a noble, can you name even one thing I'm lacking? Um, <laughs> actually, I want to say this because it's true. Uh, she lost her land and titles and, and subjects. Uh, but um, what she really wants to hear is this, and we want the professor bonus from giving the correct answer, so we're going to use this. I grasp it so much more perfectly now. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, my passion has always been for sorcery. Uh, no, we're not gonna change that. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have tea with somebody who Balthus host tea party. Okay, I'm gonna have to check. Yeah, I know how to do a tea party. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have to check what kind of tea Balthus actually likes. Where is my list? There's my list. Um, Balthus, 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 Ginger. We do have Ginger, let's go. What's the latest, pal? Got any hot tips for making gold fast? Hmm. Holst used to make me this tea all the time. Huh? Uh, nothing, forget it. Holst being Hil uh, Hilda's brother, so, um, <laughs> you want to make mo money fast? Like, he would totally fall for those multi-level marketing scam thingies. Please, Balthus, be smarter. Not bad at all. All right. So let's see. Really? Uh, a place you'd like to visit, I guess. Sure. Yes. So, like I said, we have to pick the answer they actually enjoy. Sure. Um, heart racing memories, maybe, or reliable allies. Or strange fish in the pond. Let me actually look this up. It's a strange fish, actually. Okay. Really? 
Uh, I heard some gossip is the one that most people actually enjoy. Since I gave up my noble status, my tea invitations have really dried up. I appreciate that pun. And we nod. Ta-da! So you can basically go to observe and like get a few dialogue lines when you look at the people. Um, most of those dialogue lines are pretty useless, um, so we're not going to do that. You could also give gifts if you want. We don't actually have anything for Balthus right now, so we're just going to end it here. Yes. Tea was delicious. Hey, think I can drink the next cup in one go? <laughs> Hope my beer watch this in person. Um, so yeah, Byleth gets free charm, Balthus gets free charm, and everybody's happy. Okay. Uh, St. Cephleen Day is today. There will be a hymn recital. Yeah, we all take a free hymn. This song reaches the goddess's ears. Well, regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. So yeah, um, this was actually useful for one person. It was useful for Mercedes to have that, so that's good. And Flane's birthday is on the day of Sansa Flane. I wonder why. Yes, we're gonna host a tea party. Let's go. Um, sweet apple. I am honored that you invited me. You know about my favorite tea. I, am moved. I do actually know about your favorite tea because you are very predictable, Fling. You are incredibly predictable. So soothing. So, cute monks. Let's go. She's like an absolute girly girl at heart. Um, fashion or thanks for everything. I think thanks for everything is good with her. Um, fish. If we can talk about fish with flame, we're gonna talk about fish with flame. Hello? Lively places are my favorite. I like the monastery because there are always so many people bustling about. For a moment I thought my uh, I thought my game had just had just crashed because it just did not continue. That's not. Ta -da. And end. That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. <laughs> Fishing for compliments, yeah. <laughs> and this is how you get free charm increases for everyone, but especially for Byleth, which is useful because you do need charm for Let's recruiting. Together. Right. It won't work. Wow, only two people with skill increases this time, okay. Weird. 